Hello, Paul is for UK here and welcome to today's Game of Day video. Now today's game is Packland for the Sharp X68000. So let's have a look at this one. So let's put some credits in. So this is 1984 and 1994 Namco. Program works, license from Namco. Mycomsoft, USSY and Dempa. So uh, yeah, let's start the game. So there's a, a different Sharp X68000 game every day 6pm in September 2021 on my channel. So join me for tomorrow's game if you will. And uh, please subscribe for more of this crappy videos. And uh, yep. Yeah. And uh, hit the notifications button if you wish to do so. So uh, okay, so it's credits five. Let's have a look at this one. So let's start the game. Now, as you can see, you are Pac-Man in Pac-Land. Now, instantly, I can see that this is so, looks like it's almost arcade perfect. The arcade machine looks almost identical to this. I'm just judging that by memory. I haven't uh, played the arcade machine wrong for a while. But yeah, okay. So watch out for the ghosts in the cars. If you want to run on the game, you have to double check, double tap the direction. If you want to just walk slowly, you just don't double tap the direction. So you get, the, just like on Pac-Man the maze game, you uh, get the power pulls and you can defeat the ghosts. That does wear off after a time. Oh shit, they're throwing little ghosts. So there's another one on power pulls. So you can sort of like, so you can sort of like eat them or whatever it does. I don't think it's eating them, but, so yep, yeah, proceed on. After a bit, you'll get break time. I'll tally down how much of them you've got left and add to your score. So at the top of the screen, you've got one up and you've got how many points you've got. High score is in the middle. Obviously, if you beat 80,000 points, yours will now take its place. Okay, so watching out for these like sort of UFO style ghosts. Here we go. So. We are now off to the woods now. Oh shoot! Right. Okay. So you can see, oh, some forward parallax scroll in, in the woods. It's very cool for such an old game. Well, the original arcade machine was such an old game. 1984 or something. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Watch out for these ghosts on Power Ghost 6. First time you'll probably ever see, and probably the last time you'll ever see ghosts on Power Ghost 6. Oh shit! Okay, let's get these ghosts here. And then we get to the break time. So that will re replenish our energy and we'll go on to round three. See on the bottom left, it's got how many credits you put in, like virtual coins if you like. And on the uh, bottom right, it tells you which particular range you're on. Now on this level, it's like sort of on these platforms. So there is some sense of variety to the game, which is always nice for such an early game. When I say early, I always mean it in the context of the original coin-up machine because the uh, Sharp X68000 conversion is much newer than that. Okay, so, yeah, they've done an excellent job. It's, um, it does seem like it's almost arcade perfect. The game came out on other, oh shit, rotating logs. The game came out on other formats such as Sinclair ZX Spectrum, the Commodore 64, the Amiga, the Atari ST, the, well, I think it came out on the Amstrad CPC, the uh, PC as well. Oh, I think you're supposed to use that springboard to jump across there. So, let's try this again. No, I don't think that's the way you're supposed to do it. Oh, you fuck. So, yeah. That was Packland on the... Uh Sharp X68000 and it seems like it's almost pretty much uh, arcade perfect. It might even be running the actual ROM code. I'm not even entirely sure. I haven't researched the game, but yeah, I'm going to give this one 9 out of 10 because of how close it is to the arcade machine. Now I'd have to compare them side by side to actually make a full comparison. I'm just doing that off by memory because I haven't played the arcade machine for, for about a year or two. But yep, yeah, and I haven't played it apart from on an emulator but yeah that's uh packland on the uh sharp x68000 uh, quite a worthy contestant for game of day of course and uh yep yeah, so that's nine out of ten so i'd like to uh, thank you for watching yippee it's friday tomorrow mm.